Thank you for coming back. Part 2 of Forces in Equilibrium. Actually, this is a very simple concept. All you have to do is to follow the rules of the game. Alright? So, I'll be your coach. You just follow me, take my advice, and you will do fine. And once again, to do well in your SPM physics, to understand physics, the, the most important thing is for you to do output revision, try out the questions, to rehearse, to write down, to sketch, to draw, etc., etc. Alright, do not just read your reference books. It is not enough. At the end of today's lesson, you, must, you will be able to sketch a triangle of forces in equilibrium. And secondly, you will be able to calculate from the triangle of forces in equilibrium that you have drawn earlier. Let us take a look at the question. Diagram 3.1, it shows a pendulum bob of mass 0 0.6 kilograms hung from the ceiling. And what happens? The thread is pulled horizontally by a force F so that the thread makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical as shown in diagram 3.2. It's very clear, isn't it? Now, what is the question? In the space below, you are required to draw a triangle of forces to show three forces in equilibrium. You know that there are three forces acting. Alright, so that is the first job. And secondly, you are required to calculate the force F. Now, let's say that the first part A carries two marks and part B also carries two marks. So, you have about four marks all right, to earn. And generally speaking, in paper 2, 4 marks means that you have about 6 minutes to tackle this question. So you really need rehearsal. Try it out and see if you can get everything done within 6 minutes. Now let us draw together now. I'll guide you step by step, okay? Showing you the rules of the game. 0 0.6 kilogram is the mass of the pendulum ball. And sometimes in the examination question, it does not tell you everything. You have to be very, very sharp. Alright? So you need to write down. What is the mass? The mass equals to 0 0.6 kilograms. Write it down. Is mass the weight? No. Alright? So... If M or the mass is 0 0.6 kilograms, you have also got to write down, all right, what is the weight? What is the weight of this pendulum bob? Now, very simply, let us do a very quick revision. This is necessary because some students have forgotten or they have not understood. All right, so what is the weight? The weight of the bob equals to M multiplied by G. Alright, this is just very quick revision. Now, what is M? I write down the other way. Weight equals to MG. Alright, now what is M? 0 0.6 kg multiplied by G. G here is the acceleration due to gravity. It is always given in your formulae page. It is 10 meters per second per second. Alright. So this would give me 0 0.6 times 10. I will get 6. 6.0 newtons. Alright. 6.0 newtons is the weight of the pendulum ball. Now this step is very necessary without which you will get a wrong answer. Alright. Now let's go on to the next part. What I have done earlier is that I mark this angle in red color because F is pulled horizontally. So this angle is 90 degrees. Alright? So what I would like you to do is to do this. Mark the weight. How many newtons? 6.0 newtons. That is the weight. F is here. 
right? I highlight it. And actually, if you want to, you can just mark it here, which is good. Mark the tension, you can call it T. Now, in this question, we are not required to work out the value of T. But in other questions, you might be asked to do it. All right? Okay, so now with this in mind, let us look at the question. In the space below, draw a triangle of forces to show three forces in equilibrium. And from the diagram, you are required to calculate the force F. All right? So I'm sure you have this diagram uh, in front of you. All right? Once you are familiar with this diagram, let us now draw the triangle of forces in equilibrium. All right? Now let us start. Get your ruler. Okay? Get your pen ready. I'll start with the weight. I call it W. The weight acts downwards. What is the weight here? How many newtons we have calculated earlier? Six. All right. Six newtons. All right. F. I'm sure you remember F, you pull it to the left. It's 90 degrees. This is F and this is 90 degrees. We don't know what the value of F is. Now, this is just a sketch drawing. It need not be accurate. It only gives us the concept. All right. So now, this is tension. You can mark it T. Even if you don't mark it with T, it's alright. Because we are not interested in T actually. But to put it there will show you that it is important to know the three forces acting. Now, it's a good time for us now to revise. Look at the three forces. The weight, the value F, and also tension T. It goes in a cycle. Alright? It goes in a cycle. Alright? Okay? So this will help you to know that this is a correct diagram. Okay? So now I have already sketched the drawing. Okay? And now I am ready to answer the next part. Calculate the force F. So, because I need the space there, I just put weight equals to 6 newtons. Because I need the space over there. Alright, so I'm going to work it out now. Very simple. Now, we have some simple mathematics. I want to calculate F. Alright. So, F, W. Now, what about the angle? You look again at the angle. 30 degrees with the vertical. 30 degrees. Okay, we are ready now. So, you can say that from the triangle... The force F divided by W, force F divided by force W, opposite over adjacent will give you tangent 30 degrees. Alright, get it? So, right now I have F will give me W multiplied by tangent 30 degrees. And what is W? 6 newtons, 6 newtons, I multiply it by tangent 30 degrees. Ah, now you can touch your calculator. And after you have used your calculator, you will find that the value here would be approximately 3.46 newtons. Now remember, in your final answer, you must write down 3.46 newtons. You must write down newtons. If you do not write down Newton's, your answer would be incomplete, even though your number is correct. So once again, I have shown you how to draw the triangle, and secondly, how to calculate the value of any one of the forces that is not given from the triangle. Okay, And I'm sure that after you have done this together with me, pick out other questions, and you should be able to answer the other questions. And with that, I am very sure that you have fulfilled these two objectives.
Number one, you are now able to sketch a triangle of forces in equilibrium. And number two, you are now able to calculate after drawing the triangle, after using the triangle. So I'm happy that you have joined me in this short program. Thank you very much for being with me and may God bless you. And I'm Uncle Punk here. Bye.